Good, happy Thursday evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to Sports with Riley King. Let's begin. Hollis Brookline Sr., one of state's best volleyball players ever. Let's take a listen to the video from WMUR News 9, Jason King. The Hollis Brookline girls volleyball team has won four consecutive state titles, and senior Maddie Norris has been a part of all four. The two-year captain has dominated Division I competition. She completed her four-year varsity career with 754 kills, breaking a school record that had stood for 10 years. That was pretty cool. I mean, I it's like hard work really does pay off, and I wouldn't be here without my team, and so it's kind of like a group effort. It takes a village, and, you know, I really... It was awesome. Maddie was actually born in San Diego and grew up in a military family, moving all over the United States and even lived in Japan. But she settled in Hollis in the sixth grade and found a new community in volleyball. I love the team and the community and how it really brings people together. Um, you know, especially be, moving around so much, it gives you your home away from home, and I really like that. Her list of accolades is as long as her wingspan. She's the reigning New Hampshire Gatorade Player of the Year and a candidate for the award again this year. She recently signed her national letter of intent to play both Division I volleyball and beach volleyball on scholarship at the University of North Florida. I really hope to just have fun and I want to improve as a player. I really want to grow as a person. Maddie plans to study sports management in college and hopes to play beach volleyball professionally someday. Best of luck to Maddie Norris. She's this week's hometown hero. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. And congratulations and best of luck. Sweep Hawks win two against SNHU. Let's take a listen to the video from... WMUR News 9, Jamie Staston. Say it some college SNHU basketball, the rivals, men's and women's basketball. Tonight, let's show you how it went. First time without Stan Spiro coaching the Penman in this game after 58 in a row. Tight one for sure. Ryojo Samino from Japan with a three from the corner. The game was tied at 10. And then from the near corner, Charlie Russo knocks down a three. Tied at 13. He had a dozen points in the game. But the Hawks have guys that can score from all over, like Spencer Klein. A quick pop on the baseline, and it was a 17-13 St. Anson College lead. Then Dan Danny Evans, nice hesitation move. Creates some space and drives and scores 19 to 13. Gustav Sir Jessen had 17 points and 11 rebounds, 28 points for Tim Gares. St. Anson pulled away and wins 76 63. Let's go to the women's matchup now. Shannon Ryan and St. A's against unbeaten SNHU. A quick start for the Hawks for sure on the run. Grace Goccioni ahead to Ryan for the lay in. Ryan on her way to a 25 point 17 rebound game. That's huge. The Penmen were trailing, but fighting freshman Jenna Roach nails a three. At the half, the Hawks were up five, and St. A's win 74-63. So they hand the Penmen their first loss this season. We'll have more complete women's highlights. Good Penmen, enough. we'll do more at 11. There you go. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. New Hampshire will always be special to NASCAR champ Logano. The new Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series champ Joey Logano spoke fondly of New Hampshire Motor Speedway Wednesday upon arrival in Las Vegas for this weekend's 2018 NASCAR Award Ceremony. A 
and the Boston Bruins are playing right now against New York Islanders. And tomorrow night, the Celtics, Boston Celtics versus CLE tomorrow night at 7 p.m. And that is it for this edition of Sports with Riley King. I hope you all enjoyed this edition of Sports with Riley King. And I'll see you back here tomorrow for another edition of Sports with Riley King. Good night, everyone. Bye.